songwriter. I'm getting ready to record Cuba Gooding Sr. on this Christmas mistletoe uh, here at the Sound Bank. Definitely looking forward to having a good time laying these tracks down. So uh, I'll definitely have more for you later. So stay tuned. The fireside is blazing bright. Y'all, it's me, your intrepid songwriter. I'm here with an interview as a part of my series. We're going to be talking to two greats in the music industry. We're going to be talking to Mr. Cuba Gooding Sr. and Mr. Charles Warlord. And, uh, you know, i got lots of good questions to ask them, so we're going to jump right in. All right, first question to both of you I want to know, what was the first song you ever wrote? It's a privilege to be here. Right. If it's a, pri a privilege to brag on my my writing skills. It's a privilege to be able to say to you that the first song that I ever wrote was about the family. It's a song called Begin With The Family. Okay. And uh, I'm looking to uh, re-release that song. It was done as a, on a solo album of mine a few years ago. And now every time we do it on stage, we get a standing ovation. Sing a little it's bit. It's about family. When I was a baby, my parents protected me, then I became a man embracing reality. I taught my children to be all that they can be. Tell me when will you see that it begins with the family. You are a teacher. Be truthful in all you teach. You say you want to be a law enforcement enforced with morality. If you preach religion, forgive all the sins that be. Tell me when will you see that it begins with the family. Master of melody and lyrics. I'm telling you, it was the one, I'm Bravo, telling you, that Bravo. particular Bravo. Song, <clears throat> and but it hasn't made any money yet, like Charlie Waller's songs have made money. He did a thing called... First song you ever wrote? Well, I wrote songs at very young ages uh, when I was performing in a band as a teenager, 13, 14, 15 years old. But my very first song that I released commercially was a song called Love Came by Ronnie Lamar that I wrote and produced. And we made a deal with Brunswick Records and it led to an album called You Mean the World to Me, Sweetheart, that was recorded right here in Chicago, my very first album. Fantastic. You know, everybody plays the Fools recorded right here in Chicago. Okay. You used to have RCA Studios right yeah. here. Remember? Yes. And we came here and we said, me and the main ingredient, we were fighting in the snow underneath the And went to work. Comes a, 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 okay. That comes from a movie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gentlemen, next question. Uh, yes, sir. When did you know that music was going to be your life? Your my life mother was... said to me, uh, as I was coming up, after my father passed away, he died when I was 11 years old, but she used to always say over and over, when you were an infant, you used to sing yourself to sleep. In other words, but I do it in melody. Normally the TV and the radio went, hello. In tune, as well. I don't know if it was in tune. Show, Holler she, in harmony. She thought it was in tune, which is all that really matters to me now. I lost her. Uh, it always seems like it was last week when you lose a parent. You, you know, but she's gone now. I'm 13 years out of my life. And I have children of my own, and I'm trying to uh, remain. Being an absent parent, whether it's through uh, passing or through divorce, is a terrible thing for the children. You know, that's another reason why Begin the Family was a song that I wrote, which is so important for us to pass on to the next generation. The fireside is blazing bright. Blase blue, da blue, da bleep, blop, blue. 